Chris Cornell, no next week. Let us pray. Dear Lord, please continue to guide us in this endeavor that we stay on the right path. Forgive us our sins. We acknowledge your son, Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Okay, people, as I look more and more and more into this Argento thing, I am more and more and more amazed. Let me show you this. This is a post by Argento from May 9, 2013, the infamous day. Notice the writing on the side there. Let me read it to you. This is by Asia Argento on Instagram, waiting for my long lost son, my love, Jimmy M. Bennett, in trepidation, hashtag Marina Del Rey, smoking cigarettes like there was no next week. Again, this is from May 9, 2013. The day. Miss Argento slept with the boy, admitted in her own text messages. Um, then, underneath that, her, her piece of writing, Jimmy M. Bennett responds. And he says, I'm almost there, with an exclamation point. Five minutes. I wonder what was discussed before this meeting happened. I truly do. And it's funny, as she's waiting for the boy, she calls him my long lost son. And she says that she's waiting in such trepidation that she's smoking cigarettes like there was no next week. I wonder what she was so excited about. Unbelievable. Now, I want to read the full set of text messages. Um, as you know, as everyone well knows, the text messages that came out the other day, I'm going to read the full set. There's the first one. The friend starts, as in what does the public know and not know? Like which things are facts or not facts? It's an annoying question, but I need to have a clear vision of what angles we have to send some folks to get good intel for us. Asia responds to her friend, the public knows nothing, only what NYT wrote, New York Times, which is one-sided. The shakedown letter, the horny kid jumped me. We all know that's bullshit, don't we? Then the friend asks, so it was rape or an attempted sexual action? Asia responds, I had sex with him. It felt weird. I didn't know he was a minor until the shakedown letter. Sure you didn't, Asia. The friend then responds, Either one is good enough to show you actively frowned upon his advances. Yeah, is that why you gave him alcohol? Because you actively frowned upon his advances. Okay, yeah. Is that why you were waiting with such trepidation that you're smoking? like there was not going to be a next week. Right. Asia says, No, it was all on Snapchat. Disappeared. Conveniently disappeared. Hmm. That's really convenient. Good thing the uh, selfies didn't disappear, huh? How come they're still around? I wonder. 
Asia continues, I didn't report because I always felt bad for this Hollywood failed child actor, a casualty of the machine of his parents. A casualty of you as well, Miss Argento. That's interesting you characterize it that way. And I don't know, you were waiting with such trepidation for him. You were so excited. It doesn't feel like to me that you were thinking of him of this poor, failed child actor, a casualty of the machine. Asia continues, I have 80 pages on him by a PI that Anthony hired. That's private investigator for those of you that don't know. And see, the thing is, it doesn't matter if she has a thousand pages on the kit by a PI Anthony hired. And again, putting words in Bourdain's mouth, he's dead, he can't refute it or acknowledge it. So again, it doesn't matter if she has a thousand pages. All that matters is she slept with a 17-year-old and gave him alcohol. And that's illegal. Both things are illegal. Her friend responds, yeah, we don't always think of ourselves in those time periods. Really? We don't always think of ourselves. So you were just thinking of the boy, right? You were just looking out for the boy. Get the fuck out of here. It seems like you were thinking of yourself. That's why you gave the boy alcohol, because you wanted to sleep with him. You are looking out for yourself. You are thinking of yourself. Bullshit. She was trying to protect the kid. And he raped her. Some or pseudo raped her. Get the fuck out of here. You just saw the post. I just showed it to you. Waiting with such trepidation. She's smoking cigarettes like there's not going to be a next week. Asia responds. All of Anthony's emails pushing me to accept to pay... My emails with Carrie, we disagreed with that. Oh, so it was Anthony that talked you into paying the boy off, right? Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Bullshit. Again, putting words in the mouth of a dead man. The friend responds, Yes, yeah, still need to prove the money came from a B account. That would be Anthony Bourdain or affiliate account, but this is looking rear for you. The NYT will look like fools. You got this. Nah, bitch. I don't think she has it. I think these texts make shit look even worse. And the pictures make shit look even worse. I mean, I've never seen such an overwhelming amount of evidence to prove someone's an abject fucking liar before. Asia responds, Carrie never wanted to do this. She wanted to go to the press first and show the extortion I was being threatened with. Okay, a letter from a lawyer with the pictures showing what evidence the lawyer has, that's not extortion. That's showing someone, I have evidence of your crime. Do you want to settle this or do you want to take it to court and go to jail? I picture it more going like this. Asia standing next to Anthony or on the phone to Anthony saying, Please, can you take care of this so I don't go to jail, Anthony? Please, 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 please. That's how I picture it going. But hey, that's just me. That's conjecture. Conspiracy theory. Like all my videos. The friend then says, Well, next steps. Request bank statements from Bennett that will show the account that deposited the money clearing your name as the briber. Uh, now they're calling Anthony a briber, huh? And the friend continues, and then find evidence that you rejected this person sexually at a point before. Um, again, the picture of her laying in bed with a boy kind of refutes her rejecting him sexually, okay? The afterglow look on her face, like she just had sex, 
kind of refutes any rejection. Then Asia says, Yes, I am thinking about leaking through a trusted friend to the Guardian. Don't need to leak anything. The pictures are out there. The texts are out here. Don't need to leak anything anymore. Then Asia says, if I lose my job, I will move to Africa or the Amazon forest. Guess what, Asia? That ain't going to work either. Smartphones and social media are everywhere. Then Asia says, I want to be among the 90% of the world that doesn't give a fuck about this shit. The whole world gives a fuck. Trust me, Asia. Trust me. Then she says, not the conniving, sick 10% of the entitled Westerners. Well, she spelled entitled wrong. Entitles. That's an interesting statement. I find that fascinating. Because Asia is one of these people that feels the need to post everything on social media. Take pictures even when she's sleeping with an underage boy. So to call Westerners um, entitled or conniving or whatever, as if she's any different, when in fact she's even worse, she reminds me of the Black Witch, actually. If you don't know who the Black Witch is, that's Tony Kay, who feels the need to post her every ridiculous fucking thought. Kind of like when Asia posted, I'm waiting for this 17-year-old boy who I call my son with such trepidation. I'm smoking cigarettes like there's not going to be a next week. Another post by Asia in a recent video I talked about, how she talked about this day, the day she slept with a 17-year-old, was the best day of her life. The day she plied a boy with alcohol so she could get him in the mood to sleep with her. Get him comfortable enough or relaxed enough to let her have her way with him. So I find it very funny, ironic even, that she calls Westerners conniving or entitled or sick. She's the fucking one that's sick sleeping with a fucking 17-year-old and giving him alcohol. Two crimes, by the way. Two crimes. So who's the sick one? That would be you, Asia. That would be you. Oh, and then she corrects her misspelling of entitles, entitled with the star next to it. Then her friend says, Africa is gorgeous and absolutely safer than people give it credit for. Really? You know what they do in some African countries during election season? They cut people's hands off. Really? It's safe? Safe there? I don't think so. I don't think so. Then she says Ethiopia or Senegal. Yeah, they're real safe places. They're real safe places. Mapia in Brazil. I don't know much about Mapia, but I doubt us that safer Asia be there now. She wouldn't be in France and Italy and America and London and all the different nice places, safe places she goes. She'd be in the Amazon are fucking ready. Her friend says, like have this, the therapist leak out that you suffered extreme trauma. Oh, that'd be cute, wouldn't it? No, it was the boy who had the trauma. Then the friend says, if there's any time you've talked to your therapist about inappropriate advances before the whole thing, that may be helpful too. I don't think she ever mentioned that to her therapist. I have a feeling that she never said anything like that. How about you? Asia responds, not before during that meeting where he jumped me. Really, he jumped you? The 17-year-old boy jumped you? that you call your son, that you gave alcohol to? I don't think so. I don't think so. Then the friend says, what's up with the photo taken in bed? Yeah, bitch, what's up with that? That's a great question. Then the friend continues, I think that's the one that will be harder to cushion. <laughs> Images are annoyingly assumption nation. There are no assumptions needed, bitch. The picture speaks a thousand fucking words, doesn't it? 
with that glow on her face like she just fucking came. No assumptions necessary. The picture says it fucking all. You ain't cushioning shit after that picture came out, especially after these texts. Then Asia says, you can see my tits, that's all. It doesn't mean shit. Bitch, it does mean shit. You got your tits out around a 17-year-old boy. That's a problem. He is standing up, Asia says. Then Asia says, it's beyond me. It's unfathomable. Fathomable. No, it's not beyond you. It's not unfathomable. You are in bed with a 17-year-old who you just gave alcohol to with a glow on your face like you just fucking came. Then her friend says, you worked with him previously. How did the th age thing escape? Oh, it didn't escape her. She just didn't give a fuck. She just didn't give a She didn't give a fuck. Then her friend says, I mean, 16 is the age of consent in most countries around the world. The friend continues, so I was actually shocked about the 17 thing. So, it's funny the friend says that. I have a feeling Asia was kind of thinking the same thing. Maybe she didn't quite know the law in California. I don't know. Because then Asia says, 15 in France and Italy. That may speak to Asia's previous behavior. Maybe there's other under 18 boys that she slept with. She knows the, the law in France, doesn't she? That's convenient. And again, if this boy is her long lost son, they've acted in movies together, they've known each other for years, and she was waiting with such trepidation for him to come, she was chain smoking cigarettes like there was no next week, but she just happened to forget his age, right? I don't fucking think so. I don't think so. Then the friend says, oh, whoa, after the 15-year-old comment. Then Asia says, when I was 17, I was with a 33-year-old man for years. I had just turned 17. Okay, that's great, Asia. That's great. The problem is, in the state you committed this act in, it's illegal to sleep with a 17-year-old. And this one just turned 17. Interesting. Interesting. So, again, I don't think I've ever seen more evidence of someone outright lying their ass off. And if these text messages, again, I said this in a previous video, if these were leaked in some type of attempt to make her look better, they made her look a million times worse. Because uh, I don't know how anyone got these unless they were leaked by one of, the, one of the two parties, either the friend or Asia herself. And I just have this feeling that Asia, in her warped, demented, fucked up mind, leaked these hoping that people would run with the kid just got on top of me allegation or bullshit story. The kid jumped me bullshit story. And the fact that she didn't know the boy's age. That's what I think the intent is here. But how fucking dare she say conniving sick 10% of entitled Westerners when she's the stupid bitch that takes selfies or allows selfies to be taken while she's sleeping with a 17-year-old boy. And that feels the need to post every fucking dumbass thought on Instagram or wherever. And feels the need to even go on Instagram and say, I'm just so excited about him coming. I'm waiting with such trepidation for this 17-year-old boy who I call my son to get here so I can fuck him. Peace be ever with thee.